We just had band practice. We just finished up. Yeah, you can tell by the sweat that's glistening on my face. Show them our equipment. Yeah, we gotta get some. Yeah. yeah, look, there's a giant tear in the bass drum that Manny is gonna fix for me. Shout out to Manny Mavrak, because he's the man. If he watches this, I doubt he does. He probably doesn't. Get, get back over here! Sorry. Sorry. He just got back from Hawaii. That's what the shirt's all about. Wait, this, this is 16, right? <sighs> Fuck if I know. I have no idea. <laughs> Shut my computer off. Hold on! Alright, I'll go I'll go on Instagram. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Bear with us, just one second. Yeah, who's gonna get there first? <laughs> I'm gonna get there first. I'm not even gonna try. It's a race. I'm yeah, already you, you just stand there and play with pretty. that fucking... Last, the last question... Stand question. there and look pretty. Wait. Stand there and play with that fucking meat bag he was. You didn't fucking say which one uh, it was. 16! Meat. The last one was 16. Kind of meat. This one says 15, and then this one you didn't say what number it is. This one's 16. It doesn't matter! Okay, it was 16. <laughs> so we're on 17. This is 17. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that thing with my hands, because he... You're not?! He, la he yelled at me last time. Okay, so... 10... I didn't yell! I, I, I asked you why you do that. Because... Seven. You know, it's for the hearing impaired. This is really bad. Okay. Um, yes. What are you doing? You gotta read the question. One, seven. Hey, look, it looks like 17. L seven. That's cool. We oh, yeah, I do have to read the question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm on the fuck But. Up. No, not screw you. Not screw you. Screw you, not screw them. I'll give you the fucking question already! Okay, first. <laughs> this is like a two part question, okay? So the first question is from Marty Immortal. No, Martyr Immortal. Immortal. I'm sorry. Which is Andrew Picanti. Thank you for the question. From uh, Vice? And Nerves yes, End. Yes, yes. Vice and Nerves End. He's still in Nerves End, right? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Well, either way, look them up on Facebook and give them a like. That's, yeah. Those are Staten Island bands that you need to support. Definitely. To locals like us. Yeah, because you don't support us, so support them instead. Support someone. Anyway. Support something. Commit to something, people. Anyway! Come the on. question is, <laughs> what, what were your goals and aspirations in life that you didn't achieve? And part two is, what drives you to keep doing this band? You know, I... I I wanted to, I wanted to do everything when I was little. Everything. Like I wanted I, I, this part this part of me still that wants to be a fucking magician. <laughs> but I became a musician instead. Not very good at it, but you know. It makes it rhymes. That's yeah. Cool. Where the fuck are you? What are you looking for? I need I need, I'm, my mouth is dry. Oh, I thought you were gonna say a oh. joke. All right. No. H2O. Oh, I should have. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. I wanted to do a lot of things when I got in middle school and I was got into skateboarding. I, you know, I was nowhere near good enough to go pro. I'm still not, but that was an idea. Yeah, I mean, and I fell on my ass way too many times. <laughs> Surprising, I, was, I didn't break anything. When I was a little, when I was a little kid, I uh, and well, not a little kid, but like you know, when back when I watched wrestling until it started to suck. Uh, I didn't want to be a wrestler. I want I wanted to be a commentator, just like <laughs> sitting sitting yeah, yeah. next to Jerry the King Waller, Waller and like just just fucking just saying I don't know. Same, right. some yeah. shit that's going on in front yeah. of me. I wanted to do a lot of things, yeah. But, uh, no, music, that's music was always, like, there. It was, music was never the phase for me. You know what I mean? And, uh, well, those, what? Well, um, you, you speak, I'll, I'll say my part later. Okay. Uh, and as some of you may or may not know, I do acting now. And people always ask I me. I didn't know that. People always ask me. You know, the, is, was this something you always wanted to do? No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> and, I, and I say to myself, you know, acting is one of those things where it's like, if you think about it, you, you'd be like, oh, I can never do that. Like, you know, how, or how do you even get into that, even if you wanted to do it? And I'm like, hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, how, how do you do that? You know, what I, you know what I mean? And look at me now, and I'm doing it. So look at me now. Look at me Look now. Look at me now. I'm getting paid for... Remember that song? No, no, I'm not getting paid for any of yeah, I, I gotta pay my dues first as an actor. But I, I, I've learned that, you know, no matter what you do, or, or no matter what you want to do, whatever you, you should... Whatever yeah. you do do. Do what, do. Whatever you want to do, no matter how far it seems, no matter what the chances are, you should try and go for it and try to get into it. I mean, if I, if I can still do music to this day... Uh, at, at 28, and you know, just get into acting. Uh, I, I would have gotten into acting a lot sooner, uh, right out of high school, if uh, if I knew I had this in me. Hmm. So, uh, he's right. That's yeah. just a few of the things. Yeah, yeah. My mother, when I was growing up, she used to always say, um, 
I mean, she was applying it to food because, you know, like, I was a kid and I didn't want to eat things, but she would always say, just try it once. If you don't like it, you don't have to do, you don't have to eat it. Try but it. Basically, like try it. it once. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Or if you can't, if you, you know, try your best, at least try. At least you can be like, oh, well, at least I gave it a shot, you know? It's better to say that you did than to, that you did try that you then you just didn't even bother at all. It's always better to do that, and it's better to try and try and fail than not try at all. Yeah, yeah. Well, so what? What was it? The skateboarding, the fucking wrestling thing, and everything. You know, that, those were. You know, <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, those were I those were just a few. So, but uh, like you know, I, it, I'm happy with what I'm doing now, acting and music, and right now that's all I need. Right? Yeah. I, I can, yeah. What about you? What about you? Guys? I mean, when when I was a kid, I wanted to be a fucking cowboy because I'm a moron. Um, I thought it'd be cool, you know, standing in the middle of the <laughs> desert with a fucking six shooter and killing cool. people. <laughs> I mean, I but, went to, I went, I kept going. I was a moron for that. Well, you I don't know, you, because you it's, can still do that. Today. I know. I think. I think it's. I, I just, yeah, let's go in desert right now and get some guns. Uh, I don't like the heat. You're going to the desert in a Fuck. what soon to Vegas? This fuck, this lucky ass bitch. Yeah. I don't know why he's got a Hawaiian shirt on then. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to be you a cowboy. A cowboy, baby. I don't know. I watched fucking Shanghai Noon, and I went to fucking westerns with those those fucking cap guns and stuff. I thought it looked cool. I wanted to be one. Um, my dad wanted me to be a fucking astronaut because he always wanted to be an astronaut or a pilot, and he never did, so he was trying to push that on me. And Live vicariously on. through you. Yeah, right. pretty much. Um, yeah, that never happened. I went to a couple of space camps and stuff that never really... Did you really? Well, I didn't go to space... Uh, space camp per se, but like I went on a lot of trips to space space stations. You ever go to the Bueller Space Station? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, they're like five times. That I was also, so I also, went, I was also went to NASA in Florida like twice. So. I have no interest yeah. in being an astronaut, but I'd love to go to space camp. <laughs> no, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I don't know. They had this ride at. Uh, no I forget what they, where it was. I don't know if it was Disney or Universal last time I was there. That they sh they literally put you in a pod and like. That's they do like this. Disney. They shoot it's the G, they shoot the G force on you yeah. like, like you're going into space. It's an Epcot yeah. mission space. Wait, yeah, mission yes, space. I went on, they go. actually have barf bags on that fucking oh ride. I puked my me and my whole entire family puked our guts out after that. Yeah. We regretted it so much. I, I do not. Have Wait, did you puke on the ride or after? No, after we were so <laughs> sick. We had to. <laughs> but did, did you see the barf bags? I saw those. <laughs> Yo, remember the Back to the Future ride? One time I was on the Back yeah, to the Future it. ride. Well, I went on to the Back to the Future ride and someone literally vomited on my seat before I was there. They like we had to wait for them to clean it. That's nice. Which ruined the whole ride because it just smelled like fucking vomit. But whatever. Um. Anyway, yeah. So moving on. Um. I also I was big into basketball. Uh, Michael Jordan was my fucking idol when I was a kid. So I always wanted to be a basketball player. Um. That never really worked out. I was never really that great at basketball. I was just tall. But um. Yeah, I was in I was in karate. I was thinking about you know just doing karate full time. That didn't pan out either. There's a lot of things I want to do, just like Kenny said. You know, I did a, I did a lot of bunch of stuff when I was a kid that didn't really work out. I even tried skateboarding, but like I said, I just kept falling on my ass. Um, but I tried getting into music a lot of times. I tried playing piano, I tried playing guitar, but it really wasn't until um, I took the music test in uh, elementary school and got into I got one of the highest grades in the school and I started playing clarinet. That's what kind of solidified it. It kind of made me feel confident, like I can do this. And then I got into it, and I, you know, transferred over to, you know, playing drums, and I got back into guitar in high school. So kind of just, you know, that's kind of what happened. And I really don't have very many other dreams or aspirations per se, but you know, this is it, and like, I plan to keep doing it as long as I can. I'm just gonna have to be like everybody else and get a day job and hate myself, and, and just do will be my release. Be part of the fucking system. And um, actually, related to, since we're on that note, um, I feel like I did give up a lot of, maybe not give up a lot of things, but may, I think I maybe missed out on like finding what was my real passion or my dream. Right? And because like the way I was when I was younger, it's kind of messed up. But at a really young age, I think in high school, I started to have this, I mean, I, I, I guess it wasn't me that, that thought it, but it was just everything that was just pushed upon me. I just had this idea that I had to get my act together as soon as I graduated high yeah, school, didn't... right? And I had to get a job, and then I had to, you know, I had to go to college, and then I had to get a Be job. Be part of the system. Right. This like, is exactly what I felt like. I just I just was like, yeah, I don't know. But I did this. it. That's the thing. I fucking, yeah, yeah, you did. I fucking I did it. And, like, I mean, it was messed up. I'm thinking back now, and I remember my senior year, 
It's not that Someone, they forced it on you. Like, I remember going into junior high, and they were forcing it on me. It was like, I, I don't even know. Like, you know, last week I wanted to be a fucking, you know, cowboy. Like, you know, I'm 10 years old. <laughs> I remember senior year, one of my teachers asked me what I wanted to be, what I wanted to do after college. They, so, they said, what do you want to be when you get older? And I said, employed. And I was serious. <laughs> and I was serious. And it's like, so I you never... just like one of those, you know... I'm just someone that like wanted to get a job. I mean, I think I always... And that doesn't mean I never had like hobbies and aspirations and things that I liked. I had so many of those things. But the thing is, I never really chose one to stick with and to be serious with. Yeah. Right? I did things that I liked, but then I was always focused on, you know, like doing well, whatever the what fuck society, that means, right? What society expects from you. And so much. now, you know, I have a full-time job and I have a career, but... And, but yeah, he's the most together I, person here. What I find fulfilling really is the other things that I do outside, right? So like this, like playing music and like being in a band. That's what I really. That's where I'm happiest. Oh, that's so and cool. everyone knows it. Like when you when you see me play music, everyone knows that that's where I'm happy. Um, it's very so I guess awkward. this band's not really that serious. We're gonna let you go. Or... That's not what I mean. <laughs> that's not what I mean. No. It's just what I mean is that maybe I don't focus on just one thing and saying, this is going to be my thing. And I think that sometimes you sh people should do that if they want to pursue something. Whatever works. Do everything. Yeah. Get your hands do in as many things this as is you very do similar, everything. This but. is very similar to when, when uh, our friend Max, a couple of questions ago, he asked us what if he should have a job during college. Do whatever. Go back and watch that. Yeah. Segment. I mean, but like seriously, just do whatever you're capable of. Listen. And like, that's what we tried to do. You know, we tried different things out. Some things didn't pan out. Some things we didn't really put that much into. But, you know, we all ended up in a place where we're happy with, right? Yeah. yeah you can so do everything you right. Do. You can do... And you know what? We're all still young. We got the rest of our fucking lives to that's fuck true. up. That's true. We're acting like you know? No, it's not even that. You can do everything that's expected of you. You can, you know, go to school, study hard, go to college, yeah. and study what your parents yeah. want you to, and get this job or whatever, and you can still be unsuccessful and unhappy. <laughs> so, in true. the end... You should just do what you want. Because they say, even if you do all that, like, because things are so fucking bad, like, you know, I guess, I guess it's like, wow, you're making it out to seem like it's, it's, everything is so hopeless, no matter what we do. So I might as well just do what makes you happy. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's true. And I think to the, whatever makes you smile, to the second part, that's why, that's why <laughs> we, we, you know, we're, we're in our twenties and we're still, we're still in the local band that nobody knows about. That's cause it's, cause music We've always loved, and it's it's stuck to us, and I think that's, that's true. what's kept this band going. I mean, I started playing drums right before high school, and then like in sophomore year, I started going to local shows, and because of it, I was just introduced to like a whole world that I didn't know existed. Like Kenny kept saying, you know, like he didn't know how to get into the acting thing or anything else. Like sometimes that's how it is; you don't know how you get into, and then sometimes, and then you're just exposed to it, and it's like a whole new world opens up. A whole, a whole new, new world, world. yeah. I know. <laughs> But that's seriously, I can that's how it show was. You the world. Please don't. Sparkling, shimmering, splendid. Come on! <laughs> so that's what keeps this band going. Uh, it's fun for us, and we don't give a fuck. And it's a yeah. passion. That's our fucking passion. That's that was the second question, right? What keeps yeah. Us, yeah, yeah. What keeps us we are, we pretty much, it. like, it doesn't really make a difference, like, the recognition, you know, like, we say all the time, you know, no one listens to us, and a lot of people don't, but, like, that's not why we're doing it. We're doing it because we love it. Oh, we, we, hope, we hope that you'll come out to see us and see and love it like we love it. Yeah, you know, but like we'll still play our hearts out if one person is in the crowd. If no person's in the crowd, we don't give yeah. a fuck. I, we yeah, we have yeah, there's, like there's always the sound guy or the bartender. <laughs> we have this you know? self-deprecating humor, but the truth is that we don't really. That's not what we're, we're doing it for. You know, we're not we're doing it for ourselves. Really, we're fucking selfish. Yeah, selfish. We're really and selfish. And if we ever get busy, it's with... all about it's all about doing it yourself. It's all about doing it yourself. Yeah, we have a song about that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, if we ever get busy with. Uh, Act, too busy with acting, too busy with teaching his career and, and, and stuff. Like, too and busy being a delivery driver? <laughs> whatever. Or whatever you get into. Yeah, like, yeah. not you. And no, no. fucking... If we get too busy to the point where it's like we can only play one show like every, every two months, then fine, so be it. If we get too busy where we can only play one show a year, fuck it. We'll, I say this a lot. Let's we'll go play. I say this a lot. If something means something to you, you'll find time for it. Yeah. It's as simple as that. That's true. If it really means something to you, it's really something that you want to do, you want to get into, whatever, you <coughs> find the time. Just like, just, just, just like, I mean, look at me, I'm in fucking four bands. Like, it's ridiculous. Just like all the people we invite to our shows. If you want to see us, you'll make an effort. If not, you'll make an excuse. Yeah.
Don't fucking do that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna use that. Excuse. I, well, I just used it. I'm gonna use it for like other things. Though. Can we get like close to the screen, like slowly, like you did? Yeah. Now it's creepy. Da da. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so Andrew, thanks for your question. It was yeah, it was a good you. one. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but, so, I hope uh, we answered it sufficiently. I hope that you all enjoy these videos. If you don't, I don't care. I hope you exactly. like that shirt. <laughs> yeah. uh, we yeah. hope to see Nerves and Advice soon. And uh, for the rest of you, ask us questions just like this. Well, maybe not just like this, but uh, the, this ask was a good question. Ask us questions, period. Yeah. Just ask these questions. You know, like, Whatever we're always... We, this is what we do. We answer questions. We play music. Ask us questions in person by coming to our shows. That's too... That, yeah, do that. White stains on my bed Can't get you out of my head